Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina at scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here at YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. It's my business page. And um, today I wanted to share with y'all quite a few things. Some new stuff that we've got in the shop, so it's new to us. And um, some of it hadn't been out that long from the companies that we order from. And then I got some Happy Mail, and I've got some Etsy sharing to do, and then I'm going to demonstrate this new wax that we have, the finishing wax from Prima that we have in the shop. I'm going to demonstrate that for you, and then I'm going to show you how the, what the hickory smoke, we just got this in the shop, it is the Tim Holtz hickory smoke distress oxide ink so we have the pad the refill and the spray and i'm going to show you what that looks like so let's get to it so i am super duper behind on etsy shares and i'm super duper behind on showing my happy mail that i've gotten here lately and um so I wanted to share that. This is from Miss Betty Ann Renfro. It's her botanical tags or labels. And they're just gorgeous. Look at them. Just look at them. How pretty. So yeah, that's her botanical labels. I think she showed them on her channel not too long ago. That's those that I've printed out. These, I asked her for these. I said, do you have some like cancel check, cashier check, kind of old vintage -y something? Do you already have that or do you have a way to get your hands on it? She was like, sure I can. Look at these, y'all. They're amazing. So there's some um, that's got handwriting. Well, it looks like every one of them may have a little bit of handwriting on them. So vintage -y, looking handwriting oh they're so pretty first national bank first national bank of helena those are so neat uh the bank of new york that one even has a little um postmark on it madison state bank so these are her checks, the vintage checks. I'll try my best to leave a link in the description box below of all of these that I'm showing. But this is Betty's Custom Design on Etsy, and that's her vintage checks. And then seems like I had one other thing from miss betty it might have been just this okay so she had brought the last time she had come up she comes about maybe what betty two or three times a year probably and um the one of the last times she came right after dad passed and she had brought some vintage books and stuff that she had gotten her hands on and this was one of them and I love it. It's big. I don't have any vintage book pages that are like this. But this is a large type crosswords number two spiral bound booklet. Okay, so somebody has already, you know, went through there and filled out most of the word searches. But I love these. I love how big the pages are. And I will be adding some of these pages to my journals. Oh, I just love them. I also love that they got the keys in the back. So, you know, you could cheat, totally cheat. That's how I, that's the only way I ever was able to fill out crossword puzzles was go in the back and cheat. Um, <laughs> these postcards, vintage looking postcards with like little canceled stamps on them and Victorian lady boots and I mean, just beautiful. They came from a subscriber and we don't know who it was. So we printed out a bunch of them because they're lovely and they will be great additions to pockets and journals. So thank you, whoever you are, whoever you're, you subscriber you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. This is from um, a shop called Digital Fit. Digital Fit. And look at the pages, which I have to trim off the white on them. Look how pretty these are. They have like trim 
laces, buttons, all kinds of stuff, and beautiful journal pages. Look at that one with the paper clip on it. So pretty. But yes, this comes from a shop called Digital Fit. Okay. And then this is from the Journal Boat. Look at these tall flowers. How pretty. I love them. And we just uploaded onto our blog some long stem flowers from Miss Betty Ann Renfro. Also, look at these little miniature versions of those. And they are a freebie on our blog, so y'all need to make sure to check that out and grab those. I will leave a link to our blog in the description box below. But that is Journal Boat. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. And I still have two other Etsy companies that um, have sent me things and I need, I need to print them out. I hadn't printed them. So forgive me. I will get them in the next in the next video where I share Etsy goodies. This is some Happy Mail I've had for a little bit. And I apologize to whoever it is that sent it to me. It is from K, initial K, Campbell. And it was, let's see. Okay, it doesn't even have a canceled. It doesn't even have a canceled. See, it's just like they marked through the stamp. So I don't even know when it was sent, but... Miss Kay Campbell, thank you so, 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 so much. Look at it. It's quilted. I love that. I want to put it in my book while I'm reading. It feels so comfortable. <laughs> I love a good quilt. And that is just beautiful. Thank you for that. And then, oh, she has written me a good long letter. Karen Campbell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, she talk, talks about how she watches me on YouTube and that I'm, I inspire her. I, I am very humbled by that. Thank you, Karen. Um, she says that she is a trauma survivor. God bless you, Karen. I won't go into all of this. Um... She says that um, the things that I had shared about when my daddy passed uh, was very impactful to her. And um, she speaks about God's gracious gifts in life. So I appreciate this and I will read this a little later, Miss Karen, because I know that if I start reading it now, I will cry. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then mom and I shared um, a big, huge box of Happy Mail, and it just said from a subscriber. It did not give a name. So I don't know if this was, came from the same as that printable did, but it just said from a subscriber. So whoever you are, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got some tags, little journaling tags there. Beautiful. Love those. I have, um, looks like little journaling cards, or um, it could be like some decoupage stuff, but with butterflies. I mean, gorgeous. That's going in my die cut box to use very soon. I love those. Thank you, thank you. Coffee dyed lace and scraps. So look at that. How pretty ready and get that opened up and see what those look like oh so pretty lovely I don't have much coffee dyed trim so I appreciate that very much thank you thank you and let's see what is next we got lots more trim here too so there is a kind of like a flat pom-pom trim there and a little taupey mauve kind of. Oh, I like that one. Very, very pretty trims and neutrals. I love me some neutral trims. Look at all of them. How pretty. Thank you so much. Going in my trim box as soon as I take my 
little thumbnail for the YouTube picture. Look at these, and they look coffee dyed too. Or maybe they just came that color. The butterfly trim or appliques. I've got a bunch of them. Yay! I don't have any of those. So thank you, thank you, thank you. These uh, look familiar. They look like little bookmarks, but they have pockets. So two pockets in them. Gorgeous. And then look at these, y'all. I'll get in that envelope in just a minute. So it is like our just journal January covers, and it has the bubble mailer inside, and it is fabric. And she has, I say she, she or he have a pocket sewn inside and matching fabric on the outside. I love that crinkle. Gotta love that crinkle. Look at this one. She's got, they have some extra fabric on the inside. And look at that cover. Same thing, that yummy crinkle inside. Mm, I can't wait to make some journals with those covers. Gorgeous. So we've got some stamped butterfly images. She knows mom and I too well. Look at all these butterflies. Yummy. Miscellaneous scraps. Look at them. How pretty. All kinds of butterfly and botanical things in there. More trim, and that's that beautiful heart lace trim. And she says miscellaneous scraps. So it looks like she is a, she or he, they are a person out of my own heart because look at that it's drawing paper and they've stamped on it so no little strip of drawing paper has gone unused love it love 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 these are little die cuts it looks like kitty cats with boots love them too cute and i can't pick them up there we go put those back in there before i lose something and then we've got some little journaling cards, or they could even go on um, card fronts, little postage stamps, altered index cards. They've been dyed, coffee dyed. Beautiful. Oh, I love these. Oh, mm, look at that. Too pretty. It even has addresses on there old addresses on there so pretty little invoices that they have collaged on and then we've got little ephemera packs a cd wrap beautiful thank you so much subscriber <laughs> that is how they signed it so i'm just calling you subscriber thank you thank you thank you so much i wish you would let us know who you are so i could properly thank you and address you but it's okay um as my daddy used to say don't you be stealing my blessing if um you want to do something anonymously that is perfectly fine we understand that so no worries whatsoever but thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. All right, now to demonstrate um, Tattered Rose. I'm just showing y'all this because I don't have this one. And um, I wanted to add it to my stash. So Tattered Rose up against some white cardstock. And then some taupey colored cardstock. And then we have the hickory smoke that I said was new to our shop. And we didn't have a good gray in oxide. And I say that and <laughs> Tim Holtz has come out with a brand new gray. It's more silvery though. Lost Lagoon, I think is what it's called. Anyway, we'll have some of that in next week. Um, but it is a very, very light, silvery gray. A lot lighter, whoops, a lot lighter than the hickory smoke that we have here. But um, I will let these dry 
and then I'll show you what those two look like. They look really pretty together. So I might have to do something with hickory smoke and tattered rose together. And then this is the hickory smoke distress pad. And I'll get me a block. And we got a little stamp here. And let's stamp this and see what we got. Oh, I love that color. So pretty. I might have a little bit of brown on that. Let me wipe it off. But I still love that. <laughs> but I wiped all the brown that I had on there. That was walnut stain, I do believe. And let's stamp that one more time. We can make our own ephemera. Yummy. Yeah, it's not too much of a difference. I did have a little bit of brown on it, though. So there is, let me get it where the light is not glaring on it. So there is the gray. I'll have these up close and personal for you in a still shot at the end so you can see all of my demonstrations. So that's Hickory Smoke Oxide stamped. It is so pretty. Love that. So the Tattered Rose is already drying and doing its little oxidation. Oh, I really love both of them. Still going to let them dry though. All right, so we have something new to us, and I'm thinking it's pretty new to Prima also. It hadn't been out that long as far as available to order from our supplier. So um, Prima Marketing has come out with um, wax. So it's a tube, and it has wax in it. There are metallic finishes, and there are matte finishes, okay? So in the matte finish, we have charcoal black, patina green and old white in the matte finishes and then in the metallic finishes we have rose gold bronze age and white gold okay so I'm going to show you what each one looks like I have already opened up the bottom of my little packaging so I can get them out without making too much noise we have worked and worked and worked at the shop today and then this afternoon I come back home and now I've got to make my videos for the weekend and it's just been a very 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 busy day so there's my metallics and here are my mats this patina green I'm very excited about I love adding patina to any of my projects so I'm loving that um, what I want to do is get like one of my planer plain Jane kind of um, tags so this one and I want to add a little bit of rose gold to this one so let's just see what it looks like what I'm going to do is get a white piece of cardstock and I'm going to put a little dip, a little dot of each one of these on the white cardstock and we're going to go through and I'll show you what all these look like. Okay, so to open them you're going to turn it over and pierce with the one side. Okay, so this is the rose gold. I'm just going to put a little bitty dot out there. Now let's open the rest of these and put another little dot of each one and I'll show you up close. Okay, so, I mean, look at that patina green. How pretty that is. Okay, so we've got old white, patina green, and charcoal black in the matte. And then we have um, white gold, bronze age, and rose gold in the metallic. Okay, so I'm going to get a little paintbrush, and with the rose gold, I'm going to go into that just a little bit, and just get a little bit on the edge there, just kind of splatter it. So this works kind of like the Glamour Paste does. So if you've got Glamour Paste, you're going to easily work with this wax. Look at that. So very metallic. 
So pretty. I love that. Um, on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of the colors on this, and then we'll do all of the colors on a vintage, like really aged book page, just so that you can see all the different finishes and what they look like. So there's rose gold. Here is the bronze aged. Ooh, that is very pretty. So it feels like if you've ever had liquid eyeshadow, that's what it feels like. It feels like liquid eyeshadow. So there is the bronze aged. Okay, and then look how pretty. <laughs> and then here's the white gold or white gold. Okay, so you can see the difference. White gold and then the bronze aged, and then the rose gold. And this wax is actually going to cover up. So if you've got something on a project that you would like a little, you know, more muted, it's going to cover it well too. Okay. So if you have something embossed, ooh, that would be very pretty. Something was a little raised up. So let's say... If you had embossed this cardstock and you have that little bit, that little ridge is raised up. Let's do another one this way. Okay. And I get the rose gold. Let's see if it'll show up on here. And you rub it across. Oh my gracious, look how pretty that is. So there's that rose gold. And if you had, you know, some texture to your paper or you had a crinkly piece of paper, oh, how pretty that would look. That's just gorgeous. Okay. Now for the matte finishes. Now, if you have a big gloop of the matte, it's going to give you a little bit of moisture around each one of them. No worries on that. Just make yourself a palette and then just barely put on what you want on your project. So here are the matte finishes. Those were the metallics. This is the charcoal black. Okay. Very matte. Very pretty. I love that. Okay. And then here is the patina green. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So if you had some metal, I wanted to see if we could do some of that on metal too. Oh, so pretty. And it should dry really well. So you could even alter metal clips or something. That is a great color. I love that patina green. Let's put a little bit of rose gold on it too. More patina green. And now you've got an altered clip to put in your... Oh, I love it. Mm, so pretty. Okay, and then the old white. Old white. And Mama will appreciate this. I'm going to cover up that owl's face. <laughs> with the old white and just kind of tap 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 oh yeah that is beautiful oh I love that let's do some of the white on this I'm gonna ridge that up really good this chocolate brown look how pretty oh I love that all right now for the book page I've got Different fingers for each one. The old vintage book page is going to get some old white. Mm, so pretty. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And then patina green. Love it. And then charcoal black, which actually has a really deep, almost a purpley tint. 
once it sat for a minute, but it's still it's still black. Gorgeous little finishing wax. I love it. All right, this is white gold. So that's the mats on that side. I'm going to put the metallics on this side. So white gold. And then bronze aged. Mm, that is so pretty. And then rose gold. Oh my. <laughs> Look how pretty those are. And then if you had, let me get a little piece of book page over here and I'm going to crinkle it up. Sorry, I'm reaching over. So I'm a little having to yell a little bit. So I'm crinkling up a book page, giving it some texture. Okay. And let's go in with my thumb with the charcoal black. That's my favorite thing now. That is my favorite thing. Crinkle it up and then age it with your wax. So, so pretty. I love that effect. And you know, you just barely touch and you get that effect on the ridges. So, so pretty. Let's do the rose gold on that too. I just barely have a little bit of that left that I've put out there. Oh my gracious, that is so pretty. Now I have beautiful fingertips too. Of course, you don't have to use your fingers. You can use um, a paper towel or something to rub it in really well. I'm gonna finish using all of this too. And here are our sprays pretty much finished. So there's the tattered rose and there's the hickory smoke on the white cardstock. And it still hasn't dried all the way on this cardstock, but you get the picture. And I'll have you all kinds of um, <laughs> still shots because I'm still playing, but I'm going to have you still shots at the end. And um, yeah, that's dried really good. And look at that, just doing a little bit on that black to give it a different finish. Gorgeous. I love it. I'm still playing y'all. Have a great day. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.